Why have all of the guy and none of the happy when you could have none of the guy and all of the happy? How's it going guys, guys, and pals? I'm Alison Wonderland, your favorite Kiwi trans girl, and a lot has changed for me in the past four years. I went from being a bland, quiet, reserved guy to being a bombastic, hot, badass chick with an attitude problem. And Chaos is my middle name. That's not true, my middle name is Joffrey. A lot of the changes over the past four years can be attributed to starting hormone therapy, which was in March of 2021 for me. It has been an amazing experience and it has turned my life around for the better. Seriously, I am committing three times as many war crimes per week as I ever was before. <gasps> Efficiency! I even committed tax fraud for the first time this year. Watching my body change month by month, bit by bit, as the girl juice took hold has been an exhilarating journey. But it hasn't been entirely smooth. Perhaps we can both learn a thing or two today by going over some of the more rocky parts. Today, I'm going to tell you about the five things that I didn't expect from hormone therapy. The five things I wish literally anybody had told me about estrogen. See? I just said the video title. You like that? You saucy little minx. Numero uno! I became literally irresistible. I wish somebody had warned me of that possibility. Whether it be eight men in dark blue uniforms telling me I need to return what I stole, or some random stranger with a really short right leg hassling me while I'm playing with this cool stick I found. People just will not leave me alone. No matter how hard I try, where I run to, or how many people I grievously injure, they will not back off. And it only started happening after I started estrogen. So I wish somebody had warned me about that. But at least I can succeed where others failed. Be warned, if you start estrogen you may well become irresistible. And that's not to mention the amount of people that want to f*** me. Oh my god! You like jazz? Your fine! Now of course, we can't start talking about the changes that have happened since I started taking estrogen without talking about the most important one. The one that really has changed my life my income, my source of joy, my everything. Hunger for power. When I started estrogen, I seemed to gain an... some sort of otherworldly sense of strength. A desire insurmountable, unsurpassable. Power became the very air that I breathe. Without power, I suffocate. And that is why, at all times, I keep six femboys chained up in my basement. Power! True power is intoxicating and vital. I wish somebody had warned me that this would happen. I wish literally anyone had told me that I would become this power-hungry beast of a human being so that I could better prepare myself. Silly stupid Alice. <laughs> when it first happened, I wasted weeks trying to figure out where this bizarre carnal desire had come from. And I was getting nowhere when instead I could have been out there chasing the devil himself! Think, if I hadn't wasted those first three weeks, I could be three weeks closer to invading America. Three weeks is time I can't afford to lose and I am on a very strict deadline. But who am I kidding? Ha! I know that's got nothing to do with estrogen. This is just me. Yeah, that was a lie, honestly. I've always been like this. Estrogen has nothing to do with it. I just wanted to regale you with my insurmountable power because doing so makes me feel alpha. For those of you law fanatics out there, I just want to clarify, Alice in Wonder Woman does not get her power from estrogen. She's just nuts. Sunburn! Pickles! I don't understand what happened here, but estrogen has given me an insatiable desire and craving to eat pickles. It was completely insurmountable and caused untold damage to New Zealand infrastructure. Mmm, that's actually something to do with spironolactone, not estrogen. Oh? And in New Zealand we get cyproterone, not spiral. No, what? What is, what does that mean, Alice? Hormones never gave you those cravings. It can't be. You're just a pickle No! Okay, okay, okay. Snap back to reality, Oop, there goes gravity, or whatever they say these days. The reason making a video like this is hard for me and I keep resorting to making jokes is because I was completely and totally prepared for starting hormone therapy, and I think you should be too. Choosing to take HRT is a huge, life-changing decision and you owe it to yourself and to your future to research every aspect of it. By the time I started taking estrogen, I knew exactly what it would do to me. I'm not the type to be caught unprepared. So I guess in summary, there isn't really anything that I wish someone had told 
told me. I don't have regrets like that. So perhaps then I should make a list for the types of people likely to click on this video, which I presume to be either my loyal fan base or just recently cracked eggs who are curious and perhaps excited about the prospect of starting hormone therapy. Those of you that haven't learned everything there is to know already, maybe I can help you. With that said, here are my top five picks of what I think you should know going into taking hormone therapy. And all of this coming from a gal that's been on it for almost four years. Number one, hormones are not going to do anything for your voice. Zip. Nada. They're just not. Your vocal cords and how they sound are directly affected by their length, which is something that will have extended during your puberty. You cannot artificially shorten your vocal cord length. No medication or even surgery is going to do that. So all that is to say is that if you've been through male puberty, you're just going to have to try a little bit harder. Transition takes effort. You need to put the f***ing work in. Voice training. You can't make your vocal cords shorter, but you can learn to position your mouth and your throat hole to mimic that. It may take a while, but you know, everything doesn't transition and it's all about making small consistent efforts over a long period of time to reach your goals. Hormones will not change your voice. Don't live in that fantasy. Be prepared to work to sound girly. And don't use me as an example right now because my I've been really sick for like two and a half weeks and my voice has not come back yet. Number two. Emotions. Are you stable? Are you unstable? Are you gay? I'm assuming yes, yes, and yes if you're watching this video. Estrogen is going to be weird when it comes to emotions. Yes, it will likely make your emotions feel a bit more loose, a bit more extreme, but it varies from person to person. Wildly. My honest advice is to just be prepared for anything on the emotional front. You may go and suddenly have the most wild mood swings of your entire life, or you may notice Absolutely no difference. You might cry for the first time in years while watching Postman Pat. Who knows? But you should know that estrogen is probably gonna shake up your emotional state a bit. Glorious! Sorry. Number three, sex drive. Sex drives. A man named sex driving an automobile and crashing. And all of a sudden, sex is no longer driving. I wanted to put some B-roll of a car crash right here, but I actually can't afford to go and crash my car right now. I'm gonna have to wait at least like six more months. Your sex drive is probably going to disappear. This isn't really an issue with estrogen. It's more likely going to be from taking testosterone blockers. But if you're taking estrogen, you're almost certainly taking blockers as well. So I still think it applies. Whatever the case may be, your body is going to go from having a male amount of testosterone to having no testosterone. And so your sex drive is going to completely tank. For some of you, that may be a blessing, for others less so. Just be aware of it. It'll take a little while for estrogen to build and replace the horniness that was lost with testosterone. You probably won't get quite as extreme levels as before, but you will get some. For me, it was like eight to 10 months before I was even remotely interested in anything sexual. I'm absolutely wug maxed to the dump core. I wanna go back to bed. Number four. Bone structure. Testosterone will change your bones, estrogen cannot. I think a good rule of thumb is that with all sex hormones, they can add, but they cannot subtract. They can give you a huge butt and boobs. And on the other end of the scale, they can give you a fat with a pH jaw and a low voice. But those changes can't really be reversed. Estrogen is not going to make you shorter. It's not going to make your jaw smaller. What it is going to do, however, is move and reshape all of the skin and fat around your body over the top of your bone structure, making it softer and smoother and more feminine appearing. So if you have a strong jawline but it's not too wide, you may just find that after estrogen, it'll start to look feminine. Look at my jawline in this photo here and look at it now. Look at my jawline. This is in order. See how much softer it is? I have not had facial surgery. Hormones will soften you the f*** out and it'll also redistribute your fat around your body giving you wider hips, an ass, a boob if you're not me. It really is pretty amazing, but you just gotta keep in mind it can only go so far. I still get clocked now and again because my forehead bone structure is very strong. See my brow bone here? See how it protrudes out? That's the kind of thing that hormones are not gonna fix. So keep that in mind, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Estrogen will make you look a lot more feminine, but there are limits to what it can do, so please go into it with realistic expectations. Number five. The last one I wanted to talk about, and I'll kind of drop all the joking for this matter because I think it's really important. Estrogen is not going to fix all of your problems. 
It can make a world of difference to your self-confidence and how you see yourself and how you live your life. And if you're lucky, maybe those secondary effects will make you happy. But estrogen is not a fix everything red pill. You're gonna take estrogen and you're still gonna be poor. Your family's still gonna be weird and say questionable things. Your friends are still gonna be who they are. The queer community may open up for you and that kinship can be amazing and might really help you. But there may also be other challenges that open up in its place. It's harder to get a job, harder to get a relationship, and you're more likely to face discrimination. The world is not going to change when you take estrogen. You will change and that might be everything you need. Maybe estrogen is that missing puzzle piece for you. But it's not for everyone, and I think it's unfair to tout estrogen as this fix everything happy pill because for some people it isn't. Being trans is hard. Taking hormone therapy locks you into that struggle. It's kind of a point of no return. Its benefits are amazing and life changing, but it's not gonna make you happy with a snap of the fingers. You have to do that. You have to work on your voice training. You have to use that newfound confidence to push through out of your comfort zone and become a better, stronger person. To make friends and be a more pleasant person to be around. Estrogen is not gonna do all that for you. Work on yourself, be better. It's something I live by and I hope to lead by example. I am always trying to improve and it's done me wonders. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons, it really helps me out. If you want to support my channel and help me to make more videos, you can hit that join button down below and become a commissioned officer in my queer army. We even have members only videos people have been really enjoying and loving. Uh, and I've got a setup tour coming up soon, which should be nice and fun. Not to mention, members will get first dibs on any merch that I make. It's happening, it just takes, it's not easy, that's all. I also have memberships enabled on Buy Me A Coffee, if you want to support me over on there. Technically, that gives me more bang for your buck, as they take a lower percentage. The members only videos are available there too. And lastly, um, sorry for missing my video the other week. I have been absolutely f***ed with sickness. Watching my body change, month by month. Chester wants to come inside. Come on, come on. It's not that hard. Thank you. Cats, I swear to f***ing God, he has got a cat door. He's got a cat flap. He came and pissed at my ranch slider just so I could let him in and he could use it to get out of my room and into the rest of the house. The f***ing audacity.